Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I just bought my new RV and today, we're going shopping in General RV. I'm actually really buying these accessories. No sponsors here. And um, what we're doing is we're gonna go over the accessories department. We're gonna have three categories. Must have essentials category that you absolutely need to have. And then a second category of not things that you need to have, but things that make your camping life easier. And then a third category, you don't really need it at all, but it just makes your camping experience funner. So we're gonna break down all of these accessories into three separate categories. So it's gonna be a real good time. And with us, we have Mr. Bill. Hey, Bill. Hi, man. Thank you so much for doing the walkthrough with us bet, last week. Yeah, yes, you bet. It's been a pleasure. Perfect, you ready to go shopping? Let's get it. I'm gonna spend some money with you. All right. So Bill, do you understand the rules of what we're doing? Obviously everything that we sell at General RV is something that somebody would need or want, mm -hmm. but we, we really want to break it down in between, hey, you need this and then you're going to want this. You think you can handle that? I think I can handle it. Let's, let's hand, it. Hey, my credit card's in your hand, sir. Okay. And let's just go row by row. Okay, that's cool. Whatever you see, talk to us. Message to my madness. Perfect. Matt. We're following you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Matt, speaking of must haves, yes. Don't leave this store today until you get a surge protector. Okay. All right. That's essential because if you take a lightning strike, a power surge, or a brownout, let's let that melt, not the RV. Right. Okay. All so, right. what's the difference between this melting and your RV melting? Okay. What's the difference? Yes. It ruins the camping trip. Okay. Yeah. Is that the question? No, well, like how much are these compared to how much is it to fix your RV? Oh, good question. Yeah. You're looking at maybe $150, 200 versus 3000 Perfect. Yes. Okay. All right. So we have Progressive Industries, which is really nice. But what I've chosen for you, because I like this, I, I got a picture of your kind, your style. This Hughes works perfectly. Okay. Cool thing about it. You got it. You can monitor it from your phone. It's for 50 amp. And this thing will take a huge amount of jewels before it goes down and it will protect the RV and keep you in business. We'll take it. Okay. All right, let's put it in here. All right, we'll swing it on around this way. These are some nice cups and accessories. Yeah. You know, you got life is better. It's a uh, want, right? This is definitely a want. You don't need these to go camping. Exactly. Now, something that I do like over here yes. was over here, mm -hmm. these pop-a plates. Yeah. These are very cool because it just sticks under your cabinet. Oh, that's and you cool. pop a plate, pop a bag. Mm -hmm. Again, none of these are needs. Yep. Um, but again, to have them just to make more space in your RV, I love that. Absolutely. Okay. Back to the wants or the needs, right? Yes. Back to the needs. All right, every camping trip, at some point, you're going to plug up to a full hookup and you're going to need to get a water supply to the rig. Fresh water hoses are essential, okay? Perfect. You're going to be doing boondocking, dry camping, those are synonymous. You won't need one, but most people like to hang out at a campground every now and again, right? Yep. So we need the drinking hose, water hose, 25 foot is usually enough. That was my question. You got 10, 25, and 50. You're saying 25's normally right there? Yes, with your size rig, you'll be able to maneuver around a little bit if you're not so close to it, but you got you don't have a whole lot of feet, so you're good. Perfect. All right. The very next thing is, and I already have it in here, is your water pressure regulator. Okay, what Our, does that do? Okay, well, RVs are rated, the plumbing system are rated for 40 to 55 PSI. Okay. Uh, that's pressure, right? So if you go, if, if you exceed that, which some campgrounds do exceed, you can blow your pump plumbing. This helps protect your plumbing. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And we'll swing it around this way. So now, in your case, the kind of the travel trailer that you have, you are one of the lucky guys who have leveling system on yours. You yes. Have a leveling system, and so I would normally tell you, we got to get some chocks and some leveling blocks, but because yours comes with the extraordinary lipper leveling system, you won't need this. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what I do have, or I already have it in the mail, is snap pads yes. for underneath. Yes. I'll have a complete another video on that, but yep. that is something that I did buy and it wasn't a sponsor. Yeah. So I got some of those coming. Yes. But for people that don't know what these leveling blocks, what do they do exactly? Okay, so when we get to the campground, it is essential that we level the rig appliances rely on being leveled to work efficiently. So 
leveling blocks help us get level left to right. Yep. Okay, and then of course tongue jack helps us get level front to back. Okay. So you're telling me my stabilizer jacks isn't made to level out my RV? Your stabilizer jacks would not normally be made to level out your RV. Correct. You need to level out your RV, then stabilize it. Then you it. need to do it. Exactly. Perfect. Right. You're picking up what I was putting down. Yes, yes sir. And then these are tow mirrors. Yes. Um, these are definitely not a need. They would be a want. My personal experience, I've used cheap mirror extenders in the past and they've just fallen off and vibrated. Is there, in your opinion, is there a better quality one or what, it, what, what's your thoughts on it that? It all depends on the manufacturer. Okay. These are pretty generic and I've seen them not fit on Fords. Okay. But fit on Rams. Perfect. So yeah, it would be a preference thing. And if you can get away, you can get used to being able to drive it without them, I'd say do that. Perfect. And if you need them, mm -hmm. we have them here on the shelves. Yes, sir. I love it. Yeah. All right. If you do also, if you do have a travel trailer that doesn't have a power tongue jack, we do have replacements here. Definitely a want, not a need because you're able to manually crank your jacks. Right. But we don't like to manually do it. We, yeah. want, we want to just push a button. There you go, there you go. So Matt, we were talking about the next level of things that you might think you need, but you don't necessarily need. Yes. Let's talk about that. So you have on your rig a water heater, a furnace. Yep. The furnace has a hole here for exhaust, but the thing about that is these wasps and mud dobbers like to get up in there and set up camp, could ruin the whole experience. So this would be something, it's a preference. I would recommend it if you do notice that you have a lot of bees and mud dopper wasps activity going around the rig, put these on to keep them out. Because they're attracted to that, correct? Because they're attracted to the smell of the propane. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Did, did I get that? Yes. Got oh, that. so it's already installed? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. And you got this one right here and it clips on, has a little spring here that pulls it and keeps it secure. And you got this rubbery. Uh, 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 seal right here that keeps it locked into place. One of the big things, guys, obviously all of this stuff you can get on Amazon, obviously. Yep. One of the benefits, and truthfully, I'm not getting this, I'm buying everything that we're seeing here today, and the benefit of getting it at the dealership is it's already on my trailer. You got it. So mm -hmm. once you finish your walkthrough, mm -hmm. you then go through this process with Bill mm -hmm. or whoever does your orient demo and orientation. And while you're doing the paperwork, they're installing stuff like this. Absolutely. What else did you install? So we got the e Max Air Bank covers. <laughs> hey, what else did you install? <laughs> okay, Max so Air which Air one did I get? So you got a Max Air 2 vent cover. Okay. All right. Very, very serious beneficial install here. Now tell me what that does. So what this does, low hanging branches at state parks sometimes will rip the flimsy lid that comes with the stock fan. Okay. It'll rip it right off. Gusty yep. winds will rip it right off. Or you take a hailstorm, will disintegrate it, right? This protects it. This sits over the actual lid. This is what the lid looks like. Oh, perfect. This covers it. It has vents in it. So in case every day is not an AC day and yep. we just want some fresh air, you can open the lid and rain stays out. Also at General RV, if you don't have a strong enough fan, fan or fan at all, mm -hmm. we can actually install the fans as well. Yes. But mine came with one. Yeah, great. Yeah, uh, fantastic fans. These are a really, really nice upgrade. My wife and I actually installed one in ours. Oh, there you go. And, and again, okay, so this is definitely just a want. That's technically a want, but like an important one, right? So that's an important, important okay. one. Okay, an yeah. important want. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. Okay. And then those are wants as well. Yes. All right, so we're gonna swing around this way. So, Matt, at the end of every visit at a campground, I'm gonna recommend that you dump your tanks. Perfect. Your gray and your black tank will need to be dumped. But how do we get that water from the rig to the dump? This little handy sewer holes kit. Okay. What I'm gonna recommend is the Viper, 20 foot. What I like about this is this elasticity. Yes. If somebody rolls over, it won't crack. Perfect. Okay. So that's what I want to recommend for you and the size of your RV. You like that? Yep. Okay. And that's the difference because that hose is what? 60, oh, 112? Yeah. For a hose? Yeah, that's one of our top of the line ones. Dang. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what's the difference between that and like a cheaper one that's like that one, 54, 999? Glad you asked. So you remember I mentioned the elasticity? Yes. So if you, if I can get a good grip here. See, that's hard. Yep. 
and very rigid. So okay. if I press too hard on it, I could crack it. Yes. So if somebody steps on it, rolls over it, bicycle, golf cart, crack it. And if you're willing to take a chance to clean up that mess, save the money. Yep. Well, that's only a 10 foot one. There you go, $34. But still, yeah, but yeah, yeah, 54 for the 20 foot. <laughs> yeah. Um, and again, it's literally you get what you pay for. Yep. This will be our next, under this one will be our next brand. Okay. Silverback, it has the elasticity. Yep. Okay. Some people will choose this one based on color. If they don't like that color for their rig and they want to match up a little bit, they'll go to this. Got it. This, see this General RV. Oh, there yeah. we go. There That's you go. Great. General RV. Okay. So, over here, we're going to always recommend that we use RV Marine rated toilet paper. Okay. This is going to be safe for your black tank. Okay. And a lot of times people say, well, can't I use my septic uh, toilet paper that I have at the house? No. This breaks down a little bit faster to keep you from clogging up your RV holes. Perfect. Okay. So, I want to take one of these? Yep. All right, now for the cool stuff. Now, after every dump, Matt, I think when we were going through the demo, I talked to you about how to dump the tanks, right? Yes. And we said empty, flush, empty, empty the black tank, flush the black tank, empty the gray tank. Yes. At the end of those three steps, we need to put a chemical down in the toilet. Okay. All right, and there's a chemical. We have different brands. You got these pods. You got the liquid kind that you just put down and we can about just, a quarter of water. And like they all do the same thing, so like, we'll just we'll just yeah. take this time. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. but. This is not my recommended. Oh, well, what's Bill's recommendation? There's a guy that I like, that I've seen around, and I really, really want to say this is my favorite. Got it. Yes. Liquefied, our brand of black tank yes. toilet treatment, now available at General RV. Yes. I recommend it highly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> okay. you. All right, you want this? I, I will buy it. Okay. Hey, this video, I'm not getting anything free. I'm buying everything just to put my money where my mouth is. Absolutely. That's so funny. Okay. All right, almost to the finish line. Okay. So Matt, back to the dumping. When we talk about empty, flush, empty, the black tank, we are gonna flush the black tank, but we never will use our fresh water holes. Okay. Correct, that's unsanitary, right? So this gray hose is for black tank flushing. And then that way I know the difference between one and the other. Yes, sir. Perfect. Never make that mistake. Okay, so take it. Take this, put this in the rig and leave it there. Yep. We don't need the water pressure regulator on this because we need that spray to be strong because what it's going to do is knock off the sensors and keep them clean and any stubborn stuff that's trying to hang around with them. So Perfect. Okay. Right okay. here. These camping chairs definitely must have as well. <laughs> take everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so you got a slide out and on the slide out we talked about preventative maintenance. Yes. Right here, this is the dry lube that I mentioned and I'm going to mention it again. On your slide outs, you have a, two, two sets of gears. Yep. Those gears will start to accumulate or pick up dust, gravel, sand from the beach. We want to spray dry lube on that a couple times a year to keep that from caking up in there. So I strongly recommend this. Okay, perfect. So we're friends with um, 3-in-1 brand. Mm -hmm. So they gave me like a lifetime supply of all that stuff. So I won't be purchasing it, but you know, we'll give the, it doesn't matter who the brand is as long as you're protecting your RV. Absolutely. Perfect. I talked about preventative maintenance on the roof, and this is again beginning of the season, end of the season stuff. Yes. To protect your roof, we use it's Dicor lap self leveling sealing. Now, what yes. you want to do is inspect what I like to call is this melted ice cream looking substance around the vents on the top, right? Perfect. If you see any cracks or peels, especially in the corners, don't try to peel that up yourself. Just apply a bead of this a couple times a year, and this will keep you in business. Because if you get a water leak, water is the true enemy to the RV, and you'll be out of business. If you don't catch it, it's perfect. I will take that. Okay, we'll take that. And then you got a gun for that. You have to get. No, we don't. Let's supply that. Oh, uh, okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. Ace Hardware. <laughs> there you go. Ace to the place with a helpful hardware store. There you go. <laughs> Remember when it used to be folks or something like that? They no, I don't. The yeah, they had to change the lyrics. Oh yeah. Yeah. For the helpful. Hey, say it again. Ace is the place for the. I don't know. You just sing it. Sing it. I, I was just mumbling it. I don't know the actual it words. Perfectly. Yeah. It was yeah. used to be folks. Ah, <laughs> and then here's your Furion backup cameras and side cameras. Yes, so and these, so if we buy if they buy this here, will we be able to install it? We install these. Okay. For a small fee, of course. For sure, for sure. And we have our sidewinders. Our most basic setup would be 4.3, 5, or 7 inch screen. Yep. With the rear camera. Got it. And if you really want to kick it up a notch. We have these side view cameras here yes. that really, really work for people who are challenged with turning. Yep. This will keep you from taking a fire hydrant out or a little kid on the bike. Perfect. Yep. Okay, that, that brings us full circle. We can head up to the counter. 
Anything else that people should know about that isn't like a want, like yeah. just some fun stuff that you know of if you just want to run it through it? Yeah, some fun stuff. Well, one of the or, things that I want people to understand how important it is to keep the RV clean. Okay. I like to clean mine begin at the beginning of the trip and when we come off the trip, knock off the dust, break dust, you know, stuff out in the elements that could ruin your paint job. It's good to just get you some of this. Ah, uh, so you got the brushes, yes. mm -hmm. the exterior clean, mm -hmm. bug streak remover, got it. all of this good stuff, RV polish. Yes. And it's all okay. Find one that works really good for you and just be diligent about keeping it clean and you'll get about a good five years out of that paint job. Perfect. Here's the satellites. Mm -hmm. The Wally from Dish Network, mm -hmm. yeah. King Air Digital Antenna. And which one did I buy? So yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because we were talking about wants versus needs, right? Right. Okay, so here's another want that could be a necessity. It depends on how you work. If you work from home and yep. you want to be traveling and working at the same time. So you have the Weingart Air, Air 360 Plus. That's what I got That's installed? You have. Well, that came with your rig, right? Okay. This is an expandable version of the Weingart product gives you this capability right here. Our gateway system is a modem and it's pre-wired in your rig. So what you did was upgrade it to the gateway that allows you now to become a 4G hotspot, nice. a Wi-Fi range extender, nice. as well as a GPS. So in case you get lost, you forgot where you parked, it'll function to show you where you parked. I love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Cool. Um, down here we got bike racks. Here's replacement parts because of it's cheaper plastic, so it can break. Oh, you were telling us in the walkthrough fuses, 15s. Yes. Okay, so let's march over to the fuse section. Be one of those things that just hey, how are you? How's your motor home? Oh, it's great. Good, good. It's especially well when I'm watching you on that. Yes, great to see you. Yeah, likewise. Uh, Andre is doing really well. And, yes. And Una. Una? She's here. Yeah, she's with Tucker right now. Great to see you. It's always great running into customers. He's a great guy, isn't he? Yep, yep, he really is. Yeah. Did you do his walkthrough? I did. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we were talking about fuses, and I think I saw in yours that we only have 15s to be concerned about. Yes. So they're pretty much color-coded once you get used to what they look like and what, how they're coded. So we don't have any blues in stock right now, but in this variety pack, we do. Okay, so, those so if be, somebody had multiple colors, they, the, they should buy the variety they pack. They should buy the variety pack. So make sure you got extras of your 15s in case you blow one of those and you're not out of business. Okay, so I will just pass on those then. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll order some mm -hmm. all 15s. Yes. Okay, perfect. Again, this was the fun cooking stuff. Ah, can you tell people what these are? Because I do. Well, did you guys give me one of these? Because I actually have two of these. Okay. We have a 50 amp service, right? Yes. Yeah. So you got a 50 to. Uh, these are adapters to get you down from 50 to 30 in case the campground doesn't have any 50 amp uh, spots. Okay. Bit, right? So you'll take a 30 and you'll use one of these to get you down from 50 to 30 and you can plug up and hang out. So I plug in my 50 amp unit in there. Yes, sir. And then I plug the 30 amp into the 30 amp campsite. Mm -hmm. So now my 50 amp camper is camping at a 30 amp site. Yes, sir. You'll be plugging your 50 amp. Yes, you're absolutely right. Because remember, you got a, a surge protector. So always say, I plug in my surge protector. Ah, plug in my surge protector. There you yes. Go. I don't want you and to then me. just so everybody knows, when you do that, now that's like taking my camper and making it a 30 amp. It turns it and converts it down to a 30 amp. Correct. And now there is the opposite one mm -hmm. that does a 30 amp and this one here. Mm -hmm. So if you have a 30 amp camper, you can have the dog bone to where you can plug into a 50 amp site, Absolutely. but it's not giving you 50 amp power. It's still always 30 amp always power. Always 30. Yep. And what is the most important thing to remember when you are plugged up to a 30 amp and you're a 50 amp rig? I don't know. Cool. You can only run one AC. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, for sure. Right. And then there is the power cords as well. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that's for people who, so these are just power cords. So if you just need longer power cords, like, like for example, Will, he has a pad at his house and he needs longer mm -hmm. than the 25 foot power cord. Right. So you got so a selection of yeah. power cords. And yep. then you have extensions. Got it. Okay, so this would be standard. This would actually come with your rig. Yep. But if you needed more length, we do have the ones that it says RV extension cord. Ah, so there is a difference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So it's like my original power cord and that's the extender. Exactly. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Over here. Okay. 
sorry. Mm -hmm. We do have the Lippert dog screen defender. I actually have one of those already installed. I saw that. Yep. You rock. Anything else or is that about it? All right, so we're talking about fun stuff, right? Now, yes. Now, this is the thing that we talked about, that you asked about, what would make the RV experience funner? Yes. So what my wife and I did was purchase one of these wonderful Weber grills. Who, your wife did? My wife and I. Yes. yes. And it was a wonderful addition to our experience because you have the gas quick connect connection. The only thing about these, you have to make sure you convert it. You have to take this little guy off. Okay. It's already regulated from your propane tanks on board. Okay. So you don't need a regulator here. And they have a conversion kit that really makes it easy for you to do. But these are a wonderful addition. Creates another experience when you get to the campground and you can hang out and cook outside. Perfect. You, I don't cook. You, But you have the wonderful grill on yours. Ah, okay. Yeah. So if you have a grill, you don't really need this. You don't need it. And if you don't have a grill, then you better get one. You better get one. Yes, sir. Me, I won't be using the Weber or my grill. <laughs> hey, there's Keith from Integra. <laughs> you never know who's popping around at General RV. Right. Okay. Okay, so yeah, just... I mean, I this is a need. This is a need, you think? This is a need. If you don't cook, you don't cook and you don't... <laughs> but I need a panini press. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Bill. Yes, sir. Real quick. Mm -hmm. How much do you think everything's gonna cost in my cart? To the exact retail dollar without going over? To the exact retail um, dollar. So that power watch was a little expensive. And this includes that wine guard thing. Yeah. I'm gonna say $1,247.80. Includes the wine guard thing, yeah. And installation. But I need you to guess to the exact penny. <laughs> you put me to the test now. $957. In what's changed? And what change? Yeah. 42 cents. <laughs> All right. Let's ring her up and see what we got. Okay. While Bill's ringing all that up, I do want to give a shout out to RVMattress.com. Um, that's also another accessory or feature that I think you should be getting on your RV. I will say that I did not buy the mattress from RVMattress.com, but they did give us one for our new travel trailer. So shout out to them. Everything else in this video, I am purchasing with our own money. Um, we will have all the links to everything down in the description below. But again, if you're buying an RV from General RV, pick all this stuff up in the parts department, especially if you're like me and you want those add-ons just to get added on and you don't want to do it them yourselves. But RVMattress.com, a Brooklyn bedding company, we don't sell them here at General RV, but you can click our link down below, use promo code MAP for 25% off, and they will mail you the mattress straight to your house or campground. I already had the mattress before I picked up the unit, so we have the mattress in our travel trailer. Big shout out to RVMattress.com, and uh, let's see who was right with their guesstimates, Bill or me, for how much this all cost. All right, and then what's the total amount of the surge protector and all the other add-ons that I got? And it's gonna be 955.71. All right, so then I go here on 955.71 plus 202.40, 1158.11. So who was right, Bill, you or me? You. I went over though. Well, I was under. Yeah, the closest, don't you watch Prices Right? Yes. It's the closest retail price without going over. Oh, that's right. You You're a winner. That. My man. Hey, Bill, thank you so much for walking us through the parts department. Yes. And thank you for joining us on video again. Anything you want to say to the people? It was my pleasure. You know, you came in here and I just felt so, I was so honored to have you, the man, as my demo today. And uh, hey, happy camping, everybody. Thank you. And then one final breakdown. It was the $900 for this the wine guard, the Max Air fan, the mud daubers all installed. So not the mud daubers, just the wine guard, the Max Air, and the, the gateway. Perfect. And then the no, mud. No, no, no. The, the surge protector. Yep. The gateway. Yep. And the Max Air. Perfect. Yeah. And then all the other stuff, including the mud daubers, mm -hmm. was in this price of $202. Correct. Thank you again so much. You're so welcome. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. All right, bye.